Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Back at it, ready to have a little bit of fun. Hey, real quick, before we get started, huge shout out to my newest patron, Brett S. So, Brett, I appreciate you. Thank you for, for becoming a patron, as well as for all my patrons out there as well. Thank you for all your support. Uh, we always have a blast kind of going back and forth, and it's like a, it's truly on our Patreon side, it's like a, a true sense of community. So, I appreciate all my patrons. Thank you all so much. Ladies and guys, we have a lot of ladies in there as well, so I appreciate you all. Um, all right, so for today's review, the number one question I get asked all the time, throughout the year actually, Bourbon Judge, and this is through like email, Instagram messages, uh, and so forth, people will say, Bourbon Judge, what are you drinking? What are you enjoying? What's in your glass? Tell me, and uh, it's a cool question. So I'm gonna give you right now the five whiskeys that I'm drinking now, plus, of course, you know the way I rock and roll, I'm always going to throw in a little asterisk. It's just that, that's just the way I am. Um, I will say though, these five are going to be completely different than what I'm drinking like in the winter time. In the winter time, I'm probably sipping cast strength bourbon, cast strength rye. You know, it's cold out. I need something to kind of warm, warm me up a little bit. But hey, it's summertime. So this is going to be a blend of different proof points, different distilleries. Some of these you're going to be like, bourbon judge. Wow, I'm shocked that you even, you would drink that. Um, so you will see. Uh, and then also a couple of these bottles actually were referred to me by some of my patrons. So again, my patrons are such great people. They always give me like great ideas and so forth. So some of these are referrals from them also. Uh, so I'm ready to rock and roll. Again, different proofs, different price points, different distilleries. You might be shocked with some of these. And the last thing I will say on a given night, I'm always sipping two or three different types of whiskeys. So for portion control purposes, I always use my mini glens versus the standard Glen Cairns, which are like six or six and a half ounces. These are great for uh, portion control. And if you want to have like either a blind or just pour different pours without going too crazy in the given night. So, hey, Father's Day is coming up. Hook up those dads out there. Get yourself some Bourbon Judge mini glens. All right, let's start this list off. Let's have a little bit of fun. So the first one I'm going to dive into, this one is one that actually one of my patrons, Nick Massey. So Nick, super cool guy. He lives not too far from this distillery. He was like, hey, Bourbon Judge, uh, we were talking about one of their other sub products, but I've started to really kind of dive back into uh, New Riff. I like New Riff a lot. Nick is a great guy. He reminded me of just how good a lot of their products are. So he was talking about a different one, but it just kind of put a little bug in my brain. I was like, you know what? I haven't sipped New Riff lately, and I've been enjoying the hell out of this bottle. So uh, this is the, um, this, this bourbon here, this bourbon comes in at 111.9 proof. This was a store pick that I got actually out in Kentucky while, when I was there last year. So 111.9, fantastic bottle. Again, my man, Nick, I appreciate you, man. Thank you for reminding me how good New Riff their products are. Absolutely amazing. All right, that's number one. Coming in number two. Now, again, it's summertime, so I don't always need everything, always cast strength, like that one's 111.9, definitely a nice little kick to it. This one, slightly lower on the proof standpoint. It's a finished whiskey, and it is amazing. It's so amazing, it's my second bottle of it. I love it that much. None other, and I don't talk about this one a lot on the channel, so you might be surprised with this bad boy. Chattanooga Whiskey Portcast, 95 proof. This is an amazing bottle. My buddy Brian from North Carolina is actually the one who put me onto this bad boy. Uh, this actually, hell, this might even be my third bottle of this. This is an amazing pour. It's so just, it's chill. On a nice hot summer day, I get off the golf course, I want a little bourbon, something that's not gonna be too crazy, too high in proof. This bad boy, come on, stop it, stop it. Woo, delicious, really damn good. Chattanooga Whiskey Porkcast. All right, coming in the third spot, and by the way, these are not ranked, these are just like the five that I'm happy, happy to uh, be enjoying right, right this second. Um, coming in number three, so I always love Again, a good barrel proof whiskey. You know me, it's just the way I am. I've been sipping this a lot, more in the evenings. As it cools down, I go outside on my screen and porch, you know, watch some TV, watch maybe some of the basketball games that's on, um, and it's nice and cool out in the evening. I will even go back to a cast strength whiskey at that point of the day. Not early with the sun's there, 
but in the evening when it cools off. <sighs> you guys know how much I love this company. Oh gosh, I love them so much. Nulu, this is the toasted bourbon. Oh, now this one comes in at 124.2 proof. It obviously packs a hell of a punch, but just all the toasted notes, the marshmallows, the cinnamon, the caramel, the brown sugar, the maple syrup, the pepper mixed in there as well. Absolutely an amazing, amazing bottle all day long. All right, I need a couple favors, you know me. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. Let me know what are, what are a few, if not five, of the uh, whiskeys that are your current kind of go-tos. And last but not least, please make sure you also hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notification each and every time I release new content. Cool? All right. Three down, two to go, plus the asterisk. <laughs> All right. Coming in the fourth spot. Oh, man, you want to talk about a solid-ass bottle? I'm talking solid as they come. Woo! This bad boy, it is just... I don't even know how they keep producing just such great quality whiskey. Barstown Discovery 7... Discovery Series, rather, number 7. Number 6 was amazing. That was on my top of the 10 list of 2021. This is headed right back to that category. This bad boy is just, oh, oh my goodness. So good, so good. It's it's insane. I was actually at a friend's house and um, like two on two different occasions, two different nights, and we were drinking his Discovery 7. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> I'm drinking his Discovery 7. I know I have it at home. That's a bad bourbon judge. But um, hey, we were just enjoying bourbon. We do that all the time, honestly. We share, he comes to my house. Uh, we always sip different whiskeys and so forth. But uh, honestly, Discovery Series number seven, it's so damn good. It's just ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. Ah, I, oh gosh, it's so it's so good. I gotta gotta put it aside. All right, coming in the fifth spot. Funny story about this one. So one of my patrons reached out to me. He said, "Hey, Bourbon Judge, have you ever had the standard small batch version of this whiskey?" I said, "Absolutely, I had. Bought it one time." It was a drain port, disgusting. It was, I mean, put it this way, it was worse than Calumet. It, it's not even a do not buy, it's a never ever buy. It's that bad. He's like, I have a bottle for you from their distillery, well, from their, it's actually from company, um, from the company rather, not the distillery, but from the company. It's a six year version. He's like, I got it because I think it was something like he had to get like a discount or get like free shipping when he was buying whiskey online. So he bought this bottle and he sent it to me because he loved it. And I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna like this bottle. And guess what? Woo wait! This bottle is fantastic. Bare knuckle H six years old, high rye bourbon. Oh man. Now it is cast strength. So it comes in at 128.2 proof. This bad boy, absolutely amazing. I mean, so this is, by the way, comes from Chris Bruno, one of my patrons, Chris Bruno. Super cool guy, sent me this bottle. So thank you again, Chris, for this bottle, my man. I mean, I've only had this for like, hell, not even a week, maybe, maybe two weeks, and half the bottle's gone. Actually, I'm gonna pour some right now because it's that damn good. If you see this out there, bare knuckle, eight, six years, with the little box on the front. Oh, man, this pour, phew. You wanna talk about something that really blew me away? and shocked me honestly because the standard small batch stuff is just it was just straight garbage but this mm, 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 that my friend is a winner yes it is asterisk but hold on i i'm thirsty <laughs> oh, man that is some damn good whiskey oh my gosh maple syrup it's almost like French toast, maple syrup, and a little bit of leather all mixed in together. That's too damn good. Chris, I owe you big time, brother. <laughs> all right. Last but not least, the asterisk. Why am I putting this one out there? I'm putting it out there as an asterisk because uh, very hard to find these in the wild. You definitely still can find some of them. They recently switched over to their own juice. So... If you find most of the stuff that's on the shelf from them, it's typically the more younger whiskey, which is okay. It has things on the age. I just don't like their younger stuff, honestly. 
But the old stuff that, that, that came from MGP, man, oh man. My asterisk, none other than Old Pepper Bourbon. In this case, this is the H 11 year high rye bourbon. This is absolutely fire, straight up fire. This one, by the way, comes in at 105.6 proof. It's 105.6, but that sips hotter. I would say even closer to like a 115, maybe even a 120. It is super spicy, but it is damn good. If you ever can find, and there are still some out there. I've seen them even recently myself. I think in New Jersey, I believe, I saw some uh, last weekend. Um, they're still on shelves. I have a couple bottles. So I didn't buy the other ones that are there. They're still there. This is a sleeper. This is some fantastic, I mean, fantastic MGP juice. But again, they're newer stuff that's out there. Taller, more taller bottles, kind of like this, for example. It's okay. It's just, it's a little young. Their old MGP stuff. Hey, amazing. My friends, until the next time, peace, cheers, and salute. Take care. Damn, that's good.